Sexual performance anxiety and stress. In this video, I'll be talking through the stress loop that we get ourselves into. It's really important to know this stuff, especially when we're experiencing performance anxiety and erection challenges, because then we know how to fix this and overcome it. First up, if you find this video helpful, in the bottom right hand corner, you will see a button that says subscribe. Click on that button so that you can get the latest brand new tools and videos and tips as I share them. On this stress loop that we get ourselves into, I want you to imagine a loop just like this and these lines that I've put here, I'm going to talk through the different experiences throughout the day when we're experiencing erection problems, the things that we do, the hits of stress that we get and how it just maintains this continuous loop. So we start in the morning with waking up, what do we do first? Often we check our erection, am I hard? If I'm not hard, then it means I've got this problem again, something's wrong with me. That immediately is a mini stress hit. I want you to see that as like, imagine a nail going into a plank of wood. We've just done the first hit onto the hammer, it's adding pressure. Then imagine that we go to work and suddenly a bit later on there's this thought that flashes into our mind of, oh shit, I've got this problem again, what if I can't get hard later on? Or we start comparing ourselves to other people. This could be people in the gym, let's say we've gone to the gym or people in a meeting or at a networking event. All of these different places we can find ourselves thinking about he must be able to perform really well in bed or I bet all of these guys can have sex and it's just me that's got the problem. We compare ourselves to other. So now imagine this nail in the piece of wood and that's two more or three more hits, more pressure, more stress that is stacking on top. Then imagine a little bit later on in the day, right, the afternoon just after lunchtime. Now we're researching online trying to find more information, watching more videos, trying to find the one thing that makes sense to solve all of this. And how long have we been searching for that one thing for, by the way? We're in this trap that feels like this desperation search. It's this constant search for more information because we feel a sense of purpose doing that. But also we feel like we're just, if I can just get this extra bit, and that day never comes. Whilst it feels like it's helpful, it's actually adding more stress because we're thinking about it more, we're flicking our attention around more from this video to that video to this bit of information, and that is just more and more and more for our mind to take in. If you can relate to those, just those first three that I've gone through, this is the moment I'd like to invite you to take the performance anxiety quiz. If these three make sense and you feel you just wanna fix this and actually overcome performance anxiety, then in the comment section below, you'll see the link to the performance anxiety quiz. This is 10 very simple yes or no questions you ask yourself so that you can get to the bottom of what's going on and feel normal again. Click on that link and it will take you straight to those 10 questions. Okay, moving on, we're home from work and now imagine that we're going to a partner or perhaps we're going out on a date that evening and we start to think, what if? What if they want to get sexy this evening? What if I can't? What if I can't get hard again? Or we're going out on the date and we start to imagine and picture these moments in our mind of, the date being really nice, connecting with the person, what if this is the one, and then we go back to mine, and then we're not able to do it, the same thing happens again. We picture this, we like pre-play this in our mind. Or let's say we're out with friends, and the conversation of sex comes up. After work, we go out for some drinks, the conversation of sex comes up, and we just feel in that moment like everybody else is okay and normal, and it's just us that has a problem. It's just me, there's something wrong with me, and we feel like, we want the ground to swallow us up in that moment or we find an escape, I'm just going to the toilet so we can remove ourselves from that conversation. Then fast forward, imagine now is in the evening, we're at home and what if our partner tries it on? It could be starting with a touch, starting with a kiss and then we have that voice in our mind, we're feeling stuck in our head thinking what if this happens again or we avoid intimacy because we don't want to face the embarrassment of things not going to plan. Say if we're on our own, we may do another erection test. So we may get out some porn and decide, okay, if I can get hard to this, then things are okay. If I can't, then that problem's still there. We test ourselves, we're checking and testing ourselves continuously. We go to bed feeling deflated. We go to bed feeling like, I'm not a man because of this, and we feel like we're not normal. 
And then what happens? We sleep, we wake up, the cycle starts again, the loop starts again. Imagining now that each of these things are mini stresses. These are continuous things that we're stacking, 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 like Tetris throughout the day. And what happens at the end of Tetris? Usually things then start to come too fast, the blocks come down too fast, and then boom, it's game over. And this is what we're doing to ourselves every day. We're playing a game of Tetris with our mind every day, but instead of the blocks, is stacking stress with these mini hits of stress. And it gets to the point where we're not able to fit any more stress into our backpack or into our mind, and then it resets and starts again the next day. If you can relate to this, quite simply, it's time to break this loop. It's time to fix performance anxiety and seriously overcome it using tools that work. I honestly believe the first step is understanding what is going on, what's at the bottom of this, because then we're able to start moving forward. So head to the comments below now. If you haven't already, take that yes or no quiz. I will see you right there.